I'm Bonnie Lally, and we're moments before the opening of my retrospective of 30 years worth of work. The earliest piece in the show is a portrait of my niece Lucy, who uh, sat as a seven-year-old for for the painting, and she is now 31 years old. And um, so when I was a young artist, my imagery, I was very much interested in figurative work. They were quite romantic, and I was influenced by the English 18th century dudes and um, loved the never-never quality of the work. And um, over the years, I, my interest shifted more to the landscape that the figures were in and the uh, natural phenomenon around, phenomena around me. And um, so it, the retrospective, I think, really is a kind of a cl clear transition, if you're aware of this, from figures and landscapes to then pure landscapes to then the minutia in nature that is the most compelling imagery to me now. The most recent work are miniature paintings of nature on um, mason lid jars that I assemble into quilt-like textiles. With this particular initial piece, I, I'm actually pursuing a bit of, bit of a theme that uh, I'm finding interesting for a bit. It was happenstance, and uh, I had, there was a coincidence, I was looking at books of um, ivory miniatures, English ivory miniatures from the Renaissance, and I happened to be very domestic, and I was canning, and I had a drawer full of canning lids. It's an element that that technology hasn't changed yet into a plastic piece. You know, everything changes. Everything from our childhoods are now primarily plastic and they break. And I thought, wow, this is still real latex and this beautiful enamel surface and metal. And what a wonderful painting surface. Um, so that spring and summer, I love to look at the minutia in nature, and I live in the country, and so there were small things that I wanted to do paintings of. So I started painting on the canning lids, and then I had a collection of them, and I still didn't know how to present them so that one would be interested in looking. And, of course, I laid them out, and then I saw the textile, the traditional American quilt pattern emerge, and I thought, I really like that. This painting of my friend Sue in the Midwest is the title of the painting. Is um, it? You know, it's a full-length portrait of a friend in sort of a rom romantic pose, but it's set in, you know, America's Middle West with grain elevators in the background, very modern grain elevators, and celebrating something of this region. I have a quite a few landscapes of this area uh, in the show and you know I hope people find pleasure and in some of the just formal elements, the color, the paint, the, the richness of it and when it comes to the pieces that I consider a fusion of my inner and outer life I hope that it inspires reverie in people and you know whatever that may be and um, what more can I hope for? My current interest, uh, really my passion right now is uh, writing and illustrating children's books and I've just finished my eighth title and uh, it's in circulation for hopefully publication. But the theme is the same as in my paintings, it's empathy with nature basically, but for 
children from the age of 5 to 95 is how I look at them. So I treat the illustrations uh, with as much uh, care and reverie as I do my paintings on canvas. And it's a wonderful way for me to relive the feelings of my own childhood and reading to my daughter when she was young. And uh, it's a wonderful way for me to lose myself in an afternoon. I want to thank Beth and Brian for having this retrospective for Bonnie Lally. Um, this is amazing. I think everybody here has had a great time tonight. Um, it's been, I know it's been humbling for Bonnie and also this sort of crazy experience for her to see all of her work displayed. I know I've seen personally a lot of it in her own home. Um, it's obvious from her work that she has a deep connection with the human spirit based on her beautiful portraits. I've always thought I would, that Bonnie was my alter ego, you know, that because she's a very earthy person at the same time. She's very talented and has a good insight into life in general and all that comes together in her artwork. The evening's drawing to a close and it was just a, just a spectacular event for, for me personally. I, it was just so touching that so many people came and um, that they came caring to look at visual art. I, that, that means so much. It's so life affirming and energetic and, and then the connection, the regional connection and then personally um, I had a great time and got a lot of really um, insightful and meaningful comments and um, you know enough positive reinforcement that means I will be out painting more skies and <laughs> grasses and bugs and people and that's all I have to, <laughs> that's all I have to say.